Hello, welcome to this short video on how to self-review your governing board. This is a video from the Diocese of Bath and Wells. My name is Claire Hudson and I am a school organisation and governance advisor. I am also a national leader of governance, a designation which I hold outside of work. For the purposes of this video, I am using the Bath and Wells self-review document for full governing bodies in maintained schools and local governing bodies in academies. It looks like this and it can be downloaded from our website at the same place that you are finding this video. When and why do we need to do a self-review? A self-review is an informal way for a governing board to collectively review their work over the previous years. As we all have many areas of responsibility, it's highly unlikely that even the best governing board won't have some areas that they want to work on. Reviewing your work gives you a clear picture of the areas to consolidate, the areas you're doing really well, and the areas that you need to work on in the forthcoming academic year. You can review your work at any time, and if you've never done a self-review, I, I really would like to encourage you to do one very soon. You need time to do a review, so don't give it 10 minutes in an agenda meeting. Give yourself at least an hour to work through the document and, and preferably two hours. The self-review document when completed is in effect a governor's action plan. But if you want to transfer it into a document formatted much more like a school improvement plan and containing greater detail, that document will be available to download with this video and the self-review template. To do a self-review, you will need two things, your governing board and a self-review template. You're also going to need the willingness to do the self-review, but I'm assuming that if you've got to that point, you will have that willingness. Now you can use any self-review document you like, but as I said at the beginning, I'm using the Bath & Wells self-review document, which can be downloaded from the same page as this video. If there are any issues, please do contact me on the email address at the end. This document covers exactly the same material as other self-review documents, but also very specifically includes elements relevant to church schools. If you are from an academy trust board wanting to do a self-review, I would recommend using the Confederation of School Trusts document, which is excellent. You can tackle this document in a variety of ways. You can distribute it in advance and ask all governors to complete the evidence column and then compile those results and discuss them and generate some actions. This is quite time heavy for the person doing the compilation and can actually draw out uh, the, whole, the whole process. You can collectively as a group go through each section, but you are going to need to allow a lot of time for this. My preferred way of doing this and how I do it when I do facilitated reviews is to split the governing board into groups of two or three and ask them to go through their section, completing the evidence column and suggesting actions. You then need to come together to discuss each area and agree any amendments. With a self-review, there really is no way to do it apart from get stuck in. So gather those governors, get the template and get talking. However, I do have some top tips for an effective self-review. First tip, give equal time to each area. They're set out in the document like this as they have equal importance. If you have committees, maybe ask governors from those committees to complete the relevant areas as this may help you be more effective in your self-review time. Top tip two, it's really important you approach this exercise positively and establish things that you need to improve rather than having a list of things that you don't do. And remember, even governing bodies run by national leaders of governance have areas that they want to improve. Top tip three, agree ahead of time that this is a collective effort, that everyone's knowledge needs to feed into this. Accept that some governors know more than others. Treat this as an opportunity to expand that knowledge rather than making anybody feel that they don't know very much or aren't bringing value to your governing body. And a side point I'd like to make here is how important it is that the knowledge of the governing body doesn't reside with just one or two people. If those two people 
aren't available when Ofsted visit, other governors may feel a bit exposed. Also, please remember that some governors say, I don't know we do that, and other governors do know that you do that. Please treat that as an area for improvement, as you clearly need to communicate what you're doing. Please don't say, but, but we do that. That will mean that your self-review document actually isn't accurate. Fourth top tip, nominate someone to take the sheets away because of course you will have been writing on them. That's a really important point. Do make sure that people write everything down, but make sure that those sheets are taken away by one person and compiled into a document that you can add to and create your governor's action plan. Now you've completed your self review and worked out all the areas you feel you need to improve. You now need to create a governor's action plan. As I said before, you can either just use the self review document or you can add them to a governor's action plan document. Whichever you decide to use, please just remember that like your school improvement plan, this is a living document. Equally, like your school improvement plan, it is unique to your school and your governing body. That's why you don't see off the shelf School, uh, school improvement plans or governor action plans because it's not possible to do it. It's what's, what's necessary in your school. So your governor's action plan needs to set out what you're going to do, when you're going to do it by, and who is responsible for doing it. Somebody, ideally your clerk, should ensure that the governor's action plan is included on governing body meeting agenda so you can monitor how you're getting on with achieving your actions. So. Things that I would suggest you do is don't make it onerous. Don't add too much into it. If you've identified lots and lots of things from your self review, pick the most urgent ones and achieve those. Make it achievable. Parcel the areas up you need to improve on into manageable chunks. As I said previously, make this positive. Don't make it something that ultimately dispirits you. Please make sure from your self review that you've identified training you want to collectively undertake and make sure this is added to the governor's action plan so that it's something that you can achieve. But also make sure that governors report back from that training because not everybody's going to be able to get to it. So make sure that you get that report back so everybody's getting the benefit of that training. And finally, if when you've done your self review and you're starting to pull together your governor's action plan, it all feels a bit overwhelming and you feel you need some help, please do contact us here at the diocese. We can either give you some direct advice or training or mentoring, all of which we deliver. Or if we're not in a position to do that, we can put you in touch with people who can. Following on from my comments in the last slide, uh, just to let you know that we do offer a facilitated self review service and if you are in the Bath and Wells Diocese and would like to book one of our advisors to deliver a two hour fac facilitated self review session with your governors please do contact Jan Ch Chandler in our office and she will be pleased to book an appointment for you. Thanks very much for watching this video on how to do a self review of your governing body. If you would like any further information, please see the diocesan website, um, which is on this slide. And also, please feel free to send me an email at the email address on the slide. Um, and I would be very happy to respond to any questions that you may have. Thank you very much.